Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to generate composite images in Photoshop. So the first thing we need to do is open Photoshop and also see our pictures, which we're going to look at in Lightroom, which is where we have a picture. So I'm going to first uh, launch Photoshop from the dock at the bottom of my um, screen, or your screen is one way to open it. And Photoshop might launch looking something like this. Um, what I'd like to do is just position this on the side so that we have space for Lightroom to sit next to it on screen. And I'm going to go ahead and open my Lightroom catalog now. I don't click on the I don't click on the dock to do that. Instead, I click on my uh, work drive right up here and go to Lightroom stuff right, and find my catalog and I'm going to open that up. And now Lightroom might take over the whole screen and I want to once again reposition it and resize the window so that I can see Lightroom in Photoshop on screen at the same time. So here's Lightroom taking up my whole screen. I'm going to click and drag on the gray area at the top of my window so that I can see the edge. And then I'm going to come to the edge of my window and click and drag and resize it. Ooh, got a little lag here. That's always fun. Click and drag and resize. Oh, there it went. Um, and I'm going to reposition a little more and click and drag and resize a little more. So there we go. So now I have um, my Lightroom catalog over here, right? This is Finder. I go ahead and put that down to the bottom. And Photoshop over here. And I've positioned both Lightroom and Photoshop on screen. Okay, so step two. So we're going to make a new document in Photoshop. There's many ways to make a new document in Photoshop. File, New, is just great. Um, here I have my width. I need to make sure I'm defining it in pixels, not inches. Open up your measurement unit here and select pixels. Let's go ahead and make this 10,000 by 10,000. Don't worry about the resolution or the color mode. Just hit Create. And here we have my uh, new document. I'm zooming out on it a little bit there to see the whole thing. It's a square, right? And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Lightroom, select the image, or plural, images that I want to edit or, or composite in Photoshop. So here maybe I'll click and drag this image over and um, there'll be a prompt that'll show up asking if we want to maintain our adjustments or change them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it's rotated there. Hit OK on this Camera Raw dialog box and the image will appear in Photoshop. Now, when the image appears in Photoshop, you can move it around using your Move tool. Um, if you try to do anything else, if you try to click on anything else, you're going to get this prompt. Place the file? Yes. Um, you want to place it. Another way to place it is by pressing Enter or Return on your keyboard or clicking the checkbox right there. All of those do the same thing, allowing us now to move on to the next step of maybe putting another picture in. So let's go ahead and I'm going to drag this one over here. Uh, I'll get this prompt about do I want it to look a certain way and maybe I do want to make a few changes since uh, that looks good to me now. And I'll notice that once it shows up here there'll be an X over it again and I'll need to commit or confirm my uh, file placement. Right? So I'm going to press return here. Notice that X disappears. And now I could rearrange my pictures on my canvas here. Right Here I am clicking and dragging. Um, Each picture is now what's called a layer, right? We can arrange and resize 
our layers in Photoshop using the Move tool. The Move tool keyboard shortcut uh, is the letter V. So I'm going to move my images so they're overlapping a little here. And what I'd like to do is have, and to zoom in, you could press Command plus, Command plus a few times to zoom way in on that. I'd like to have this edge not be so prominent. I'd like to have this woman who uh, who's cut by the edge of the other picture show up fully. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to render part of this top layer uh, translucent or even transparent by making a layer mask. How do we make a layer mask? You click on the layer that you want to make a little bit transparent somewhere. You can click on it in the layers panel or click on the layer itself in your workspace. Step two of making a layer mask is click add layer mask. This button right here at the bottom the bottom of our um, layer panel. So you click that one time and now there's my layer mask. What does a layer mask allow me to do? Well I'm going to switch to my brush tool and brush black and here I'm now seeing the bottom layer show up through the top layer. Right? I can brush a straight line by clicking in one place holding down shift and clicking in another Right? I can change my brush size by tapping the bracket button that is on the sort of row right above the return button on my keyboard. Maybe I want to actually see what's here. That's kind of cool. I like that person half in the picture. Maybe I'll actually reposition this so it's a little closer. Now that I'm seeing this shadow overlap here, I might reposition this, go back to my brush tool. Maybe I'll brush um, white here and bring some of this back in, brush black over here, and remove a little bit more of this image so that we get to something like this. That's pretty fun. So once you're happy with what you've done, make sure that you save your work to the work drive, your work drive. Save it on your drive. How do you do that? You go to File, save as and make sure that on the left hand side of this by the way this could open in this tiny little mode like this you need to be able to see the left side of the save as dialog box and um, choose your work drive if you don't have a collage folder make one by clicking new folder and let's save it into a folder where it's organized collage save that there good then you're done